Most people, unfortunately, don't want to know God personally. They fight against him because they know in their hearts they're sinners and they're condemned by God. And they don't want to hear that. But we still have to be faithful. I don't know what your situations are, but I trust it. We all know people whom God may be using you to call. As I say, it's one-to-one -one conversations. And I still find it interesting that it's an unclean animal that God used to provide. I suppose the temptation might have been if it had been a clean animal, he might have killed the animal. So he wasn't going to kill those ravens. And they brought bread and meat to him every day. God provides in ways that we cannot imagine. We might find ourselves in dire circumstances. How am I going to cope? The answer is, look to God. Trust in him. And whatever his word reveals to you, believe it. Act upon it. You won't be sorry. It might take time. You might even be stressed out at times. But God is faithful. And he makes provision. As Jesus himself reminded the disciples, because they were all, the disciples must have been concerned about how they were going to make a living. And that's why I said to them, consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap, yet your, father, your heavenly Father clothes them. And how much more valuable are you than the ravens? And so I leave you with that thought. We are valued by God. God loves us. Trust in him. And trust him for provision. Amen.